Hi, my name is Marco and I will be your teacher in this course on electrical insulation and safety. Electrical and electronics products, like people, have to abide by product legislation, a set of rules that establish the minimum safety requirements. Being able of routing hardware or coding firmware is not enough to put an application on the market. Products that don't comply with these rules may face a product recall, like these examples in the United States. This is the State Consumer Product Safety Commission website. These products have to be recalled and replaced because of poor design with respect to the electrical insulation. These products instead have problems with respect to access to live parts. With respect to the European Union, in this product safety website, we can find products that failed in comply with clearance and creepage minimum distances. As a result, these products have to be recalled. This is an example of a USB charger. These products, as you can see, have to be recalled with drone and some of them even destroyed at custom. We will talk extensively of creepage clearance and other safety aspects in this course. This course is organized in several sections. First, I will teach you basic concepts and definitions so that we will have a basic vocabulary to engage with the more technical sections, where you will learn how to calculate creepage and clearance distances, how to choose the materials for solid insulation, and how to use the insulation diagrams in order to provide evidence and communicate the insulation strategy of choice. The sections are filled with many examples. We will talk about critical components and how to choose them, focusing in particular on transformers and capacitors. Furthermore, we will talk about protection against ingress of water and solid parts, and access to live parts. Throughout the course I will refer often to international standards for solutions and methodologies, so a specific section is dedicated to the different kinds of standards and how to find the right standard for your application. In the last section, you will find an overview of the entire design and development process to give you a bigger picture of where and when to use what you have learned in this course. It includes also a complete design example of an electric toaster. At the end of the course, you will be able, once you have decided or have been appointed to develop a specific application, to Find the right standard that best fits your application. 
go through the standard and find the electrical safety requirements, understand the requirements and calculate the parameters of interest like creepage, clearance, IP protection and so on, you will be able to choose the critical components properly and you will be able to cast all these requirements into your design so that you will have a product that is beautiful, functional and safe, so ready to be put on the market. But now, let me talk a little bit about myself. My name is Marco Catanossi and I live in Italy. I've got a Master of Science in 2003 in Electronics Engineering. You can also check my LinkedIn profile here. For a couple of years, I've worked as a hardware and firmware designer for embedded applications. So, I perfectly understand the designer point of view. But for more than 10 years, I've worked in the product safety, product certification and international standards. So trust me, there are a lot of miles in these tires. I also work as an assessor consultant for the Court of Justice, assisting the judge to find if an injury is due to a poor designed product failure. So I know what can cause a poorly designed product to the user and how much it may cost to a manufacturer in terms of costs and also jail. But who can benefit from these courts? If you are a student, hardly will find such topics on your academic courses, so it is important you take this course and highlight it on your curriculum. These skills will complete your culture and make you stand out from the crowd. If you already work and you are looking for advance or change in your career, this course will give you an advantage with respect to your competitors. Indeed, every employer wants their product to be safe and don't cause any injuries. And how to be sure of that if not hiring people with this specific culture? Showing that you are well trained in the safety aspect will make you a winner. Also, if you aim at a managerial position like Chief R&D Officer or Chief Innovation Officer, you need to be aware of what to demand from your team, so you need this course. And if you are a hobbyist, you will profit from this course that will enrich your culture. I work as a consultant and a good number of my clients started their business from their hobby. So, when you will decide to give your invention a chance, it is important that your business plan will show you are aware of the product legislation, requirements and liabilities, and of all the safety aspects product development involves. This may make the difference in growing trust and also funds. This course is not for electronics beginners. If you enroll in this course, I'm expecting that you already know basic electronics principles like current, voltage, power and basic components like resistors, capacitors and transformers. Have a look at the course curriculum and watch the lessons available for free. If you have any question, please contact me and I will answer you as soon as possible, usually within 24 hours. If you like the course, please give it a 4 or 5 star rating and please write me for any suggestion or improvement you will find useful. You will have a lifelong access to the course, so you will benefit of any improvements will take place. I also suggest you to take the course more than one time. The concepts will be refreshed and you will discover details that you didn't notice in the first place. So, I'm waiting for you in the first section, where you will learn about basic concepts, types of insulation and product classifications.